Hi everybody, my name is Carlene Eshelman and I'm here with a Halloween project for my friends at www.allfreeholidaycrafts.com What we're going to be making today is this cute little pumpkin project. It's very easy and it's great for your children to make with you. It's very inexpensive as well. So let's get started. The supplies you're going to be needing are some paper. You can use construction paper or cardstock. And you're going to need at least a 7 by 6 inch piece of paper. Now, in this pumpkin, you can see that I've alternated colors. So if you'd like to do this, you'll just need black and orange paper. The next thing you're going to be needing is some ribbon or a bow for the top of your pumpkin, a small leaf. This leaf is by Prima, but you can also cut your own out of construction paper. You're going to need two brads and a one inch circle punch, which is, will be optional, and some adhesive. I like to use Fabri-Tac by Beacon Adhesives or you can also use your glue gun. So let's get started. Oops. You're also going to be needing a paper trimmer and a 1 8 inch hole punch as well. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to be needing is your paper. Is your orange paper and the pumpkin that I'll be making today will be completely orange. It won't have the variation between black and orange. What you're going to be doing is you need to cut your paper at least six inches long and then we're going to trim it. You're actually You're actually going to be needing four, 14 of these pieces. And I have some already done here. So I have my 14 half an inch by 6 inch pieces or strips. And the first thing that you're going to be needing to do is to punch. Use your hole punch. Use your hole punch and punch about a quarter of an inch in from the edge. And you can also, you're going to be needing to do both sides, and you can also, also use a marker and mark exactly where you need to punch. But I'm, today I'm just going to be eyeballing it so I can speed up the process. Now I have all my pieces with holes on each end. I'm going to gather them up and get my brad and I'm just going to put one brad through these holes here at the bottom and then I'm going to use my exacto knife to help me spread the two prongs like so so you have your brad there now you're going to just spread them out because the next thing you need to do is start grabbing pieces and rolling them down like so. So I'm going to grab from each side so I can balance out my pumpkin and you'll start to see it forming. 
this is a great project for kids at school. Um, you can also decorate your desk at work with this. It's very cute. And if it's once you start getting a few of them in place, you can use your brad and it will help you hold the pieces in place to form your pumpkin. And again, just grab the strips and roll it down into place. Now right now I'm not worried about evenly spreading the strips. I'm just concerned about getting them into my brad here. There we go. And then use my Zacto knife to help me spread those prongs there. So now I have it in place. And you can actually, brads come in different sizes, so you can actually use a larger one if you like. But I'm actually going to cover them up in this project. So you can see I need to form the shape of my pumpkin, so I'm just going to push down on it and get the fibers of the cardstock to loosen up and stay into a pumpkin round shape for me. And at this point you can also start moving your strips around. Okay. So you can see my pumpkin won't won't stand up still. That's where you can bring in your half an inch circle, or excuse me, your one inch circle. And I'm going to use my glue gun. Put a dab of glue here. And then put that right in the middle like so and that will hold my pumpkin in place. So now I can go ahead and finish off my pumpkin by placing the leaf placing the leaf at the top here And then adding my ribbon on top there as well. There we go. And there you have your paper pumpkin ready to decorate your home or your classroom. I hope you enjoyed this. Please check out www.allfreeholidaycrafts.com. Thanks for watching.